Yeah, I have selected a topic, a uh, special topic which is, which is uh, cardiodiabetology. I have selected this because the patients, most of the patients, diabetic patients do not die of diabetes. They die of something else, some of the complications. For example, 70% of them develop coronary artery disease, heart attack or stroke. So it is very essential to prevent this this uh, calamities um, uh, by adequate means in the from the beginning itself when a patient steps into your chamber and you diagnose him to have a cardio uh, diabetes then his risk of developing heart attack is about 70 percent so 30 30 30 percent so he has as if he has it is as if he has uh, he has had a Michael infarction. So you have to prevent a possible second infarction. You have to treat, it, treat him like, you know, as if he had a primary, uh, he had a primary heart, disease, heart disease, he had a myocardial infarction and you have to prevent it again, a second infarction has to be prevented. So for that, you know, we have to take adequate measures, we have to do the risk evaluation. We have several tools now for that you can identify the risk on, of a particular patient for a diabetic who is uh, uh, coming to us, we have uh, the, he has uh, clinical risk factors like you know you had, I can identify his uh, other risk factors like hypertension, diabetes, um, uh, dyslipidemia, obesity, all those things you know. So from that you know we can actually they have all additional risk factors for this patient who is a plain diabetic who is actually simply coming to you. So his risk is very high. So the point is that we like to identify the risk and then treat them properly on these uh, lines to prevent a possible heart attack or, or stroke. So most of the even cardiolo most of the cardiologists they they consider diabetes as a the as a cardiovascular disease. So it's a that's a that's a fact because they develop most of, many of them develop ultimately they die of uh, uh, heart disease. So another thing is that uh, these patients also develop uh, heart failure, heart failure in uh, diabetic cardiomyopathy. So heart failure is a very high, uh, has a very high incidence, very closely related to diabetes. So we have to identify for which, for uh, identify the possibility of a reduced ejection fraction and see what is exactly the patient's ejection fraction is and then we have to do the, the prevention. For which, you know, for all these things you need a, a training. Most of them, most of the endocrinologists or physicians who are diabetologists, they are not well trained. They are not, they don't have a cardiology background or cardio, some, any reasonable training in uh, cardiology. So it's very essential that they should undergo uh, a training in cardiology and also should then they will be able to, you know, prevent this kind of calamities um, in the long run and you'll be able to able you will be able able to save many lives of the diabetics thank you